Hello. I know um, there was another video that you could watch for my other class to learn about functions and um, how to use function notation, but I also wanted to uh, include some video from our class as well, from our book. So here we go. <clears throat> functions are really just a formal way to write instructions um, on how to use different types of equations. So functions are kind of like um, directions to use a machine. Like if you worked at a factory um, and it would be like, what can what material, if you were gonna make um, this pen right here um, or this calculator case, right? There's pink material, plastic material that goes into the machine. And then it runs through a mold that makes this plastic piece and then this plastic piece comes out. And so the function is the mold that the material goes into to make this plastic piece. And so um, we always define functions with the name of the function. So a capital letter. And in this case, my function is F. And this is called the function of X. meaning X is my input. X is like the pink material that goes in to make my plastic calculator cover. Okay, so the domain are the allowed values for X. So the case cover <clears throat> may only be able to be made in certain colors. And so th those are my domain. Those are the colors that can go in for my input. That's what X is. So this is not a multiplication, F times X. It's saying that this machine can be made using these inputs X. The range are values that come out of F, the function. <laughs> So certain things, certain um, parts can come out of this particular mold and this one in pink is one of them. <clears throat> okay, um, so before we talk about the vertical line test, I wanna go back to a relation. A relation is how inputs are related to outputs. So if you go to page 257 in our book, it describes a relation on page 257 as a rule that pairs each element in one set called the domain with one or more elements from a second set called the range. An alternate definition is a relation is a set of ordered pairs. The set of all first coordinates is the domain of the relation. The set of all second coordinates is the range. And usually our domain is going to be our X values and our range will be our Y values. Okay. So when we write them as X comma Y, these are usually our domain values and the Y's are the range values. Okay. So if we go to our problems, our first problem um, on page 260 <clears throat> is asking us to give each of these following relations, give the domain a range and indicate which are also functions. Okay, so on number one, our domain values, we always put them in brackets because that is a set of numbers. So our domain values are one, three, five, and seven. And then our range are all of the values that could come out in the second coordinate. So two, comma, four, six, and eight. And it asks if this is a function. So to be a function, every input can only have one output. So one cannot go to another number besides two, and it doesn't. And three cannot go to another number besides four, and it doesn't. So essentially we cannot have duplicate 
x inputs. Okay, we cannot have duplicate x inputs. So, number four, um, so yes, number one is a function. So let's just write ourselves a note. To be a function, you cannot have an input going to more than one output. Okay, so let's look at number four. Number five um, is not a good one. Number four, we have here zero, one, two, and one going to four, six, four, and five. So our domain on number four are the possibilities of zero, one, and two. And we don't have to list one twice. Um, and then our outputs for the range are, it looks like four, five, and six are all possibilities. And then it's asking if number four is a function, that's a question. And we're going to say no, because if you look at number four, one says it, it cre it, if you put one into your machine, six comes out, but it also says if you put one into your machine, five comes out. And that cannot be true about a function because one goes to, one is trying to cheat with six and five, basically. It's trying to have two, two best friends. You can have two best friends. Okay, questions nine through 13, or nine through nine, 13, 17, and 19 are the ones I'd like to look at next. Um, and they're all about using visual on a graph. Um, and it's basically using this vertical line test. So the vertical line test says, that if we can draw infinitely number of lines through our graph, it's so nice and sunny out today, but it's hard to read my book. It says if a vertical line crosses a graph of a relation in more than one place, the relation cannot be a function. If no vertical line can be found that crosses a graph in more than one place, then the graph represents a function. So if it passes this vertical line test, so let's look here. So I wanted to look at nine and 13. So nine, if I were to do vertical lines through here, it looks like each of them only cross my graph once. So yes, it's a function. Let's look at 11. Oh, if I draw a line there, it looks like I'm crossing my graph once two, three times. Ooh, yikes. No, this is a no. It's not a function. 13. If I draw one vertical line, I can see I'm crossing that circle twice. Circles are never a function. No. Um, 10 and 14 are both considered parabolas. They make that parabola shape. They're quadratic equations, and those are always functions. So that's a yes and a yes. Um, and it looks like 12 is a yes, 16 is a no. <clears throat> okay. So let's jump to 19. Oh, 17. I was going to do 17. 17 is a yes. We can draw through there. So 19 says, Determine the domain and range of the following functions. Assume the entire function is shown. So this is the entire function on 19. So the domain are, what are my X values allowed? And then are, what are my Y values that are gonna come out of that? So my X values go from negative five to five. And because they're colored in circles, My domain is using brackets. 
And then my range are my y values minimum to maximum. So that looks like the, the smallest that y can be is zero and it goes all the way up to five um, on both of these. So zero and five, and we're gonna use brackets. Okay. So let's look at 23 and 27. 23 and 27. In 23 and 27, they gave us symbolically um, y equals x squared minus one. And it says graph each of the following. In each case, use the graph to find the domain and range and indicate whether the graph is the graph of a function. So we're going to use Desmos on both of these. And I'd like you to get practice using Desmos as well. So I'm going to go to Desmos here. And so let's just put, let's just, um, this is number 23. And so we're going to put in y equals x squared. Make sure you go down to do the minus one. And because it's squared, you know that it's going to make this parabola shape. We've been kind of learning about those. And I want to see what is the, um, it, my domain, right, is going to be, let's just make the note here. Domain is going to be um, anything left and right. I'm not limited. I can just draw this. I'm not limited to anything left and right. So I can have all real numbers. And then my range is going to be what is my smallest number it can be up to my largest. So the smallest, I'm just going to click and it looks like the smallest is right here. And it goes by your y value. So the smallest it gets is a negative one. And it looks like it's pretty much limitless. It can be, it can go up to infinity. So this is going to be, um, I'm going to use a bracket. Nope, a, a bracket, and it's a negative one because it can equal a negative one. So I'm using brackets, um, comma, and then it's a positive infinity. Okay, and now let's look at number 27 and that is y is equal to oh this one is x so it's written a little different x is equal to y squared and go down and do minus one. Oh, now let's go back to 23 for just a moment i want to note here if we do that vertical line test it looks like it is a function so let's just mark that it is a function. But when we look at number 27, I'm going to turn off the graph for number 23 here. Um, it looks like it does not pass the vertical line test. Let's just make a note. Does not pass the vertical line test. So it is not a function. Um, the domain, the domain in this case is going to be a, a bracket because it can equal. Let's just see what this point is right here. It's and it's the x value for the domain. So it looks like its smallest is going to be a negative one comma and it looks like it goes forever in the positive direction so then it'll be a positive infinity i'm using words instead of i don't have symbols here and that gives a parentheses and then the range is just going to go forever down and then forever up this way so the range is going to be a negative infinity up to a positive infinity 
on that one. And yes. So I'm going to just um, go to my paper so you can see here how I've got those written. So on this one, it's a negative infinity to a positive. And then this one was a negative one to a positive infinity. And then the domain here was a negative one bracket to a positive infinity. And then the range was negative infinity to a positive infinity. So, the last one I wanted to look at was number 35 in our book here. In 35, says camera phones. The chart shows the estimated number of smartphones and digital cameras sold from 2010 to 2015. Using the chart, list all the values in the domain and range for the total phone sales. So let's just zoom in here. Total phone sales is that's digital cameras and smartphones, and they want a total phone sales. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna do the top. We're gonna do the, them added together, and they want to know the domain and the range. Okay. So domain and range. So the domain is gonna be um, because our years. This is going to be the years is our range, our domain, and our range is going to be sales in millions. Okay, so it looks like we have the years 2010 to 2015. So that is going to be. I'm, I'm listing it. So I'm using brackets instead of the brackets. I'm, I'm using these squiggly brackets. So 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. And then my sales range goes 184, and because I've already said that they're in sales in dollars and millions, I'm just going to list the numbers, comma, 208, 220, 207, 214, and 228. And that's from right here. And that's all I have for lesson three, five. So catch me back if you want to catch some more videos um, on our lessons.